Greetings, future automaton architects! Today, we set forth on an intriguing journey exploring the world of automata, the art and science of creating machines that operate without human interaction. We will explore the parts of automated systems and how they work together to help these marvels interact with the world around us. First, we will take a look at the hardware, including sensors and actuators. Then, we'll work on the software part of the system by introducing a pathfinding algorithm. To culminate our exploration, we'll code a few tasks about navigating a rover through a maze, a skill that merges algorithmic thinking with real-world challenges in robotics. Let's get automating! Robots are everywhere. They are used on assembly lines. They're helping to create self-driving cars. And they're even used in space exploration. Another name for a self-operating robot is an automaton, and the plural is automata. An automaton is a system that can perform tasks without human intervention. Think of it like setting a clock. Once you wind it up, it ticks away on its own. Modern robots operate on a similar principle, but with advanced technology. To understand how to create a program that can be used to guide robots, we first need to grasp some core components of our automated system. First, let's look at the hardware components. The hardware components of a system are the physical components of a system that you can touch. First, we have sensors. These are the eyes and ears of a robot. Sensors detect changes in the environment. For instance, in our rover, a camera acts as a sensor, capturing real-time visuals of the terrain. We could also have touch sensors, sound sensors, or even temperature sensors. They all give us feedback about the world around us. Then we have actuators. Once our robot senses its surroundings, it needs to act. Actuators are the components that allow this action, be it moving forward, turning, or even picking up an object. These are just like the muscles and tendons that help the human body move. Next, we can look at the software component. Software is the program that runs on a computer. Algorithms act as the brain of the robot. They interpret the data from sensors and instruct the actuators on what to do. It's the decision-making logic that follows steps to complete a task. We learned about algorithms in Unit 1 when we made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. When programming automata, we have to take into account the environment we are working in, what obstacles are preventing us from achieving our goal, and how we will overcome those obstacles. Creating robots that traverse obstacles on their own requires a unique combination of hardware and software. Let's check out an example and try writing an algorithm to help our robot solve a problem. Here's what we're working with. Our robot has a sensor that can tell us if there's anything blocking its path, an actuator that can move it forward or turn it side to side. The problem is, our robot is stuck in a maze, so what do we need to figure out to help it navigate? Well, let's think about what you would do if you were trying to escape from a maze. How do you decide which way to go? There are many different ways to solve that problem, and the robot has to do the same thing with the help of its hardware and software. In order to write our algorithm, we first need to get data from our sensor about our surroundings. The sensor can give us one of two readings. Either there is something in front of us or there isn't. If there is nothing in front of us, we can continue moving. If there is something in front of us, then we have a decision to make. Do we turn left or do we turn right? Based on the layout of the maze, we will make our choice. In this case, we can't turn right because the path is blocked, so we will turn left. Now we can continue running the entire program over and over again until we reach our destination. 
The type of algorithm that helps with finding the shortest path between two points is called a pathfinding algorithm. Let's put our pathfinding algorithm to the test in a real programming task. For this task, we will use what we've learned about sensing and decision making while trying to navigate a robot through a maze. For sensing, we will use the obstacle variable. If it reads panel, there's something in the way. If it reads free, the path is clear. Then we will make a decision based on the sensor's input. If the path is free, then the robot can continue to move forward using the move function. If there's a panel, you must decide which way to turn. As you can see in this maze, all of the turns are to the left, so the robot will always make a left turn when we find a panel. You will use the turn left function for that. Once our algorithm is in place, the robot will continue to follow it over and over until it reaches its destination. Try finishing this task and then complete the other automation tasks. Remember, creating automata is all about sensing the environment using sensors, deciding using an algorithm, and acting using actuators, all in small calculated steps. Each decision is based on the latest data the sensors provide. Automation and robotics, while advanced, boil down to some fundamental principles. First, we made sure to have the correct hardware, the physical parts of the robot. This included sensors, tools that get information about the environment. We also used actuators or devices to make the robot move. Lastly, we write the algorithm, which is part of the software programs that guide the robot. In particular, we used a pathfinding algorithm, which helps the robot find the shortest path between two points. As you progress, you'll find that these foundational concepts apply to various robots, from self-driving cars to drones and everything in between. Be sure to complete the programming tasks, practice questions, and extension activities before moving on to the next lesson. And remember, in the universe of coding, the possibilities are infinite. I'll see you next time. Hey.